Hello, Rob from Fountain Pen Journey with a pen mail video. Now, um, I have recently been spending a little bit more money on my pens, um, partly because I haven't really seen anything that interests me from my usual sort of brands, and I just fancied branching out and trying a few new things. So, this isn't the usual cheap Chinese fountain pens, uh, nothing to do with the impact of COVID-19, though I must admit that the Chinese fountain pen market has gone a little bit quiet for obvious reasons, and God willing we'll all be safe from uh, from this uh, awful virus as it seems to spread. Um, anyway, that aside, I just fancied spending a little bit more money on some pens, and I came across some absolute bargains. So, Let's talk about what I got in the mail today. I'll get this one out of the way for now. I'll show you the box. Here we go. Big, 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 big Lamy box. And what's inside it? Well, it's, ooh, it's all here. With a tag. Nice to even have that. So I keep my um, fountain pen boxes and... So, what came? Well, as you can see, it's a Lamy 2000 stainless steel. It's the stainless, stainless steel version of the Lamy 2000. Um, I got this on eBay from a uh, second hand um, for a really, really good price. Um, very, very happy with it. <laughs> I've inked this up already just to, uh, just to try it out. So, Stainless steel version of the Lamy 2000, one of my favourite fountain pens. Um, and when I saw this auction at the right sort of price, I put my, boat, put my bid in and, um, and won it, which I'm very, very happy with because I really, really wanted um, a stainless steel Lamy uh, 2000. Um, so, yeah, really pleased with this purchase. I mean, yeah, it's a Lamy 2000, but made out of or certainly coated in stainless steel so it's got the standard cap and you know the usual Bauhaus clip which is sprung and you can open it from the base this one has a fine uh, gold nib um, stainless steel section as well feels really nice in the hand to be honest I, I'm, I'm not a huge fan of metal pens uh, but this one pretty much had to... Ooh, contrast is awful. Leave me hands here. Um, I'm not a huge fan of metal pens, but this one just had to be in my pen collection. So, really glad that I got one of these. Um, let's show you a little bit of a writing sample with it. Because I did ink this up as soon as I got it. And opened it this evening. And... This bit of paper here, cult pens. Bit of a giveaway as to what the uh, where the next pen came from. So um, anyway, Lamy two thousand. Oops, hang on. Where's the nib? There we are. Stainless steel version with a fine nib. And I must admit, this nib actually does seem rather fine. Um, my Lamy uh, 2000 review and opinion, why do people love this pen so much? Big long video. Um, I discussed the differences between the fine nib that I have in one of my Lamy 2000s and the medium nib in the uh, one of my Lamy 2000s. So I've got two of those. So this is the third Lamy 2000. And I must admit, this nib does seem just that little bit finer and it is in my mind quite close to, to a true fine um, it's by no means extra fine but and it's wet obviously it's wet so these Lamy 2000 nibs do seem a little bit broader because they do like to put down quite a lot more ink 
So I wouldn't have said that was necessarily that wet, but it does seem to be laying down a decent amount of ink. I mean, these pens write really, really well. I absolutely love them. So, yeah, Lamy 2000 stainless steel. Very nice pen for my uh, collection. So, this next one is a bit of a heads up. I got this from Cult Pens. Um... Yeah, there's a label. Is it even readable? There we go. Just about. Um, I'll leave that box there for a moment while I just talk about this. Cult Pens, all of this week, don't know when this promotion is going to end, but they are offering 10% off fine writing instruments. Now, that is a very generic term, and it seems to be quite a lot of their mid-range, mid high-end pens are 10% off. Now, there was one pen that I looked at, and even with 10% off, I can, <laughs> I, can, I can buy it cheaper elsewhere. Um, so, didn't bother with that one, even though I almost pulled the trigger. However, um, this particular pen really interested me. It's from Diplomat. Now, I love the Diplomat Aero, and Cult Pens are selling the Fire Blue version of the Diplomat Aero, and I thought, I've, I've, I've just got to have one. Um, it looks absolutely great. And then I saw the price on the Cult Pens website. £280 for the Fire Blue version. £160 for the standard uh, Diplomat in blue, black, whatever colours. And I thought, that's it's too big a jump in price. There's no way I'm spending £280 on a pen. So... I'm not blowing that amount of money on a pen. Uh, but I did notice that somebody uh, mentioned in the, I think it was the UK Fountain, it's the Facebook Fountain Pens UK group, and they said, Cult Pens have got 10% off fine writing instruments. And they had the Diplomat um, Aero in Fire Blue as the picture promoting that, and... I had a look at the price and went, no, don't fancy paying that money. Went back to the post and then noticed that somebody had put something in the comments and said, yeah, but I got the um, Diplomat uh, Traveller in fire blue for, the sa for a very, very, for like fifth of the price, basically. Um, and as it happens, this is the pen. So... What's inside? Well, you get the guarantee. I won't show you the pen just yet. Guarantee and all the gumph. Yeah, bit of paper. And here's the pen. Oh my god, yes. <laughs> ah. So another metal pen. Diplomat Traveller Fire Blue. Very, very nice pen. It's a slim pen, I must admit. For my taste, it is a bit slim, and it's not a Diplomat Aero, but it's got the same sort of finish, and apparently the nibs on these, I've never tried the Diplomat Traveller, the nibs on these are really, really good. Nice little jewel on top, different uh, different style of clip, very nice fire, well, I, mean, I wouldn't say it was necessarily fire blue, there seems to be quite a decent bit of... Um, Orange and, I don't know, orange, oranges, <laughs> call it oranges in this uh, this area here. There is a bit of blue, obviously. And uh, there we go, on cap, plastic section, which, to be honest, on the metal pen, I'm not that bothered about. And it's certainly quite grippy in comparison to metal. Um, I've got this with a medium steel nib. Decent nib. Looking forward to trying this one out. And, um, yeah, really attractive pen. Yeah, not even going to bother trying to post it. Unscrew this, let's see. We have got, there we go, standard international short cartridge in there with a spacer. And I'm guessing that this pen will quite happily hold Two short standard international cartridges, or one long. And that is quite a nice pen. I'm very happy with that too. 
So, wow, that's quite tight. Um, flame finish. What's the official terminology? I'll just look at the paperwork for a moment. Diplomat Traveller Flame. So it's not fire blue, it's flame. But it's exactly the same type of finish. Same blowtorched effect. Um, yeah, really, really nice. So I'm very, very happy with my uh, pens that came in the uh, mail today. Just put them side by side. Um, there we go. So, yes, thank you very much for watching. And like I say, I don't know how long the Cult Pens... 10% off fine writing instruments is going to last. It's going to be, like most of their things, a limited time promotion. I think it started on Monday this week. So I'm guessing it's probably going to run maybe until Sunday. Um, but, yeah, if you want to, uh, if you see this video shortly after it's been published um, and you happen to want to buy from Cult Pens, have a look at what they've got on offer because there might be something that you want to... Uh, Want to fork out your hard-earned cash for um like i did so yeah i'm really happy with these and thank you very much for watching and i shall see you next time bye